Hi friends, welcome to HDL Lectures. My name is Hadil. I'm going to give you a new series of lecture on economics for CMA Foundation students. So, my dear students, today we will start with the introduction of economics. This is the first paper in CMA Foundation and the name is Fundamentals of Economics and Management. There are two topics in this subject. One is economics and another is management. Both are divided into 50-50 marks. That means for 100 mark we will have 50 marks in fundamental economics and another 50 marks in fundamentals of management so let us start with the economics topic the first basic concept of economics that is what we are going to start and today uh, on this lecture i will give you what is economics is about the basic definition of economics and all definitions and scope of economics do you have any idea what is economics is about economics is a study of economic activities what are these economic activities? Economic activities are divided into four. They are consumption, production, exchange, and distribution. These four activities are known as economic activities and studying about these activities are known as economics. What is consumption? Consumption is a process of using a product. Where, uh, how we use as a product for satisfying our wants, that is known as consumption. The way of utilizing a product, that is what me, uh, consumption is about. What is production? Production is a way of creating a utility. It's a creation of utility or it's a process of changing a product from one form to another. That means it's a changing from raw materials to finished goods or it's a creation of utility, we can say. And for any production, we need factors. There are some factors required for the production. These factors are known as factors of production. There are four factors of production that are land, labor, capital, and organization. With the help of these four items, we can produce. The production is required or the production is possible only with these four factors of production. Third thing is that exchange. What is exchange is about? Exchange is a process or it's an act of changing the goods from one person to another. That means it's a process of exchanging the material or goods from one person to another. It is a process done in the market. That means we are exchanging our product from one person to another. That process is known as exchange. This exchange was basically done in the way of barter system. Before the introduction of money, barter system was used for exchange. That means if you need a product, you have to sell another product. But after the introduction of money, we have become more convenient and we are we were able to introduce money and we could replace the barter system. And the fourth thing is that distribution, distribution of income. Here, the distribution of income means as i have said there are four factors of production that is land labor capital and organization for these four factors of production we have to give them rewards for land we give rent as a reward for labor we give wage as a reward for capital we give interest as a reward and for organization we give profit as a reward in the distribution area, we are discussing what is the income sharing for among the factors of production. That is what we are considering in the distribution. Distribution means sharing of income among the factors of production. Factors of production are land, labor, capital and organization. How this income is divided and what are the income? Incomes are rent, wages, interest and profit rent for land wages for labor interest for capital and profit for organization here that is what we are deal in distribution and this distribution are divided into two types they are micro distribution and macro distribution what is micro distribution micro distribution is nothing but the pricing of factors of production that means we are pricing the factors of production per unit per unit we are fixing the price that price that pricing is known as micro distribution that means it explains how the price how the rent per unit of land is determined how the rent uh, what is the rent for particular square feet or particular unit that is what is deal in the microeconomics but in case of macroeconomics we are not taking the per unit concept but we are taking the aggregate amount that means we want to know the total national income among the total factors of production 
with the, all the factors of production what is the total national income that is what we are deal in macro distribution so this is what the basic concept of economics is about and hope you all understand what is the basic concept in economics thank you thanks for watching